Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today we have another DIY video for you which is really exciting for us because we're actually getting stuff done to our house and the house is improving. So if you saw our DIY bedroom transformation you'll know that we actually did the walls and the pictures but we did also mention that we're gonna paint the wardrobes that are behind me here and that is what I'm doing today. So it's just me today because Kershaw is at work and we're gonna be painting these and it's gonna look beautiful by the time she comes home. So the first thing we've got to do, like any DIY project, is prep. So I'm gonna to have to put this sheet down, put some masking tape on everywhere, and then we'll get started. But prep is the longest, most boring bit ever in DIY. But before we get into this video, please make sure that you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, and also turn the notifications on, because then you can see every single time we upload. So the plan for these actually, we're gonna cheat a little bit. So I'm obviously gonna sand down all of this here because it's slightly treated wood. So it's kind of like, um, what's it called? Varnished, basically. So I've got to sand all of this down and then paint it, but we're not gonna do the insides of the cabinets. So, oh, hello, lots of Link stuff. Every single Christmas I get Link stuff, okay? And it just stocks up and it is so good. I've got literally like a deodorant and body wash store there. So I don't even need to buy any, to be fair. Anyway, so we're actually just gonna paint um, the outsides of these and leave the insides as the wood. So it's gonna be painting the outside and the sides here. So it looks nice on the external. So to the eye, it will look lovely. So this is sanded down now, you can obviously see that and you can actually really see a difference in colour between this one and this one. You can see this is like a smoother finish obviously, but these ones up here, they're all sanded, they're all done and they just need to be cleaned off and then they're ready to be painted. I have just had a little break. I did go on Warzone for a little while. That's been my game of choice throughout quarantine. So I'm still off work, so technically I'm still in lockdown, which is a bit annoying, because I'm not getting paid fully. So it, it, it is hard, but it's, it's things like that that are getting me through it, like Warzone, going on runs, actually going to play football. I mean, we're allowed back at football training now, which is good, so that's helped me through it a lot. And yeah, it's just a lot of home DIY stuff has actually helped me get through as well. So doing this, it's actually really good because it improves our house and it improves my mental health because it makes me do something and, you know, get up and be active, which is what you want to do. But now I've just got to take these final doors off here and then I've got to prep the floor and get it ready to be painted. Exciting stuff. This is all prepped and ready to go. It just shows how much bigger the room would be without the wardrobe doors. It's crazy. But this is gonna look so nice once it's done. So now what I've got to do is actually prime all the wood. Because it had a slight varnish on it, I've got to now prime it before painting it. So we're not gonna be glossing the doors because it'll be too shiny. Uh, so these doors here, these are glossed and obviously the uh, door frames as well but we're actually gonna be eggshell painting the wardrobe doors, and that's because it gives a low sheen, so it is still a little bit shiny, but not completely matte finish, so it should be beautiful. And it means they're also easy to wipe because we are painting it white as well. So this is finally all primed. It took me a lot longer than I thought it would. Um, I'm leaving these inside bits, like I said, because it would just be easier to have the outsides done. But I've done the main bits that you'll be able to see. Um, so that is good, and it's looking decent, even with just the primer on. So this isn't the paint yet. This is just the primer, so the paint has something to stick to. But it's looking decent. Kershaw is now home as well, and we're just about to paint the doors. So it's getting this bit ready to paint the doors. We've got the big ones to do as well. Say hello. Hello. This is the first time you're in the video. I know. I've been at work. 
been working hard. Kirsch just offered to help me because I was getting stressed out and it's very kind of her. So, thank you. You're welcome. This is what the doors look like primed. They actually look pretty decent to be fair, but obviously we want them to be fully painted and actually nice finished. So this is what it's looking like so far, but it does look so much nicer white. And I can see why Kershaw wanted it done and what well, we both wanted it done. So it's finally time to do the actual paint. And this is the paint that we've got. So it's Dulux eggshell. It's quick drying, so hopefully it dries quickly, obviously. This is special paints, so it's for wood and metal, so not just for walls. So if you did want to do this yourself, this is the paint we're using. This is what we've got after one coat of the eggshell paint, and it is looking good. I will definitely need to add another coat on it though, because you can see the slight little brown patches there, but there's not much uh, paint on there. So we'll need to be a second one, but that's gonna to be tomorrow, because today has literally gone Literally so quick. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have a break now. Kershaw is watching Mamma Mia in there. I don't know if you can see her, you're probably not. <laughs> she also bought me one of these, a little hairband, so I don't have to wear my hats all the time, which is, it's lovely to be fair. It's nice for me because my head can breathe now, which is good. But I'll see you tomorrow when we're gonna finish off the wardrobe transformation and it's gonna look beautiful hello guys it is day two of the wardrobe transformation it is quite late because i went to play football this morning hence why i'm wearing my chelsea kit so i'm gonna have some lunch and then i'm gonna get started i'm gonna do the first coat on the actual frame upstairs so let's get into it coat one is done yes it's looking better much better. So here it is after two coats. It's still not completely done. There's still some bits that are missing, but it does look so much better. So I haven't filmed much today because I've literally just been doing the frame just over there. And honestly, it's taken so long. I started at one o'clock and it's now like half six. And with breaks, I've probably been doing it for like five and a half hours, which is a long time. And that's literally all I'm doing today. So it's gonna have to go into a day three. This is nuts. I thought this would be literally like a one or two day job. And it may even go into a four day job. I hope not. But it is looking much better now. At first, when we did it, it was going like brown around the edges. Let me show you. So as you can see there, it's slightly brown. Um, if anyone can tell us why, that would be amazing. I think it's because we haven't put enough primer on and it's showing this color through, so the brown that's there. Um, so it just might need a couple more coats or maybe even just one more coat, which would be good. But we are gonna go into a day three of this project. But it is looking very good now. Like the white is looking much better and honestly it's making the room look lighter and it feels lighter even though it's like half six already now it should be getting a little bit darker outside it's, it feels light in this room i did do one layer of paint on this but i thought that it would be a much better idea to actually get this finished first because then when these are dry and ready we can literally just put them on so the ones downstairs that you saw yesterday they still need one more coat and all the rest of the doors that are out here here they all still need a coat anyway i hope you guys are enjoying this so far please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below because we need to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year i will see you tomorrow for day three <sighs> did not expect it to take this long hello guys it is now day three of the wardrobe transformation i am going to put the third coat on the frame and then I'm gonna start on the doors. Because the doors, I feel like they'll only need a couple of coats and they won't take as long as the intricate frame. And yes, I am still wearing the same clothes, if you have noticed. Um, that's because I don't wanna get paint on three pairs of clothes. So, I'm stinking it out in these, but we move. I'm gonna make sure that today is the final day. So we're gonna get it finished and it's gonna look amazing today, I promise. So, coat number three is done on this. So I'm gonna now move on to the doors, but first, I'm gonna to have to take this tape off. And I have a feeling it's gonna peel some of the paint off. So, fingers crossed it doesn't, but oh, I don't know, I don't know. Guys, I am off. It's pulled off the paint, not only on the coving, 
and a little bit on the ceiling, but also on the actual wardrobes. Oh, look at this. Look at it. I've literally just had a mini breakdown because it took me so long and now it's all just ruined and pulled off. Oh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. I know you're supposed to take it off when the paint's wet, but I wouldn't have been able to do all the other coats and it's so annoying. Oh, so annoying. I'm just going to have to redo it. I'm just going to have to redo it again. There we go. It is redone. However, I have got some paint on the wall slightly, but we'll ignore that because I had to go so close to the edge of this. It's so annoying they're all pulled off. This side was by far the worst. This side I did have to redo, but I mean, oh, it just looks a bit untidy here and I hate that, but I can't get any closer without it going all on the wall. But it looks okay. It will look nice when you stand further back, I think. I've had an absolute nightmare. I'm not going to tell Kershaw, I'm going to wait and see what her reaction is when she comes home, but it's just so annoying that it's had to do that. It looks so good, look at it. You can see it behind me, I can see it in the screen. It looks so good, but it's just so annoying that the little tiny touches are going to make it look crap. So while we wait for that monstrosity upstairs to dry, I'm actually going to do all of these again. So I'm going to give them a second coat. They actually look okay on camera, but when you look at them in real, actually in real life, they have a few patches, so they're going to have to be redone. I'm still so annoyed about upstairs. Like, how have I let that do that? I should have taken the tape off straight away, but honestly, I don't know. We'll see what it looks like at the end, but it's just annoyed me. And it's probably going to annoy Kersha as well, so... We'll see. We'll see how it goes when she comes home. Look at the state of this room, by the way. This is what has happened to this while we're doing the wardrobes. And honestly, it's been like this for three days and I hate it. I can't move. I normally sit there to edit and it's normally my editing day today, but I'm obviously finishing off this, so I'm going to have to edit it tomorrow instead. But oh my God, this is wedding stuff, clothes, more clothes. It's ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's not gone to plan, has it? No, no, it has not. Look, it looks okay, but it doesn't look 100% what we wanted it to. So I think we're just gonna... Go back to the drawing board. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the drawing board. We're gonna leave it as it is for now because Kersha's stepdad, who is like a whiz with DIY <laughs> stuff, he's basically said that we need to get a special undercoat primer to actually make it look properly it white. It stops like the varnish that hasn't been like taken off properly from like before. It stops the yellowness coming through and we didn't realise that beforehand and now like the orangey yellowness has come through from the varnish so you can see it on it. So I don't know if you can see but well from there. The yeah it's all, all it's all yellow the varnish is coming through so I sanded it all down properly and I made sure it was all sanded but the varnish is slightly coming through because the undercoat isn't oil based. It was water based, water -based undercoat. undercoat. So that means that it's not stopping the varnish, the oil in the varnish coming through. So the varnish is always going to come to the front rather than stay at the back. On the banisters, we did actually prime those as well, but nothing yellow or orange has come through on those because we glossed it, so it's oil yeah, based, it's an oil -based and it's kept it all the back. It's just disappointing because... I think it's more disappointing for you because you've done all the work this time round. I spent three days on it yeah. and it just doesn't look what we thought. But it happens, it happens. It happens. It we, happens. Didn't, we didn't know that would happen, so... No. It's I had just... like a miniature breakdown. Didn't I? You've had a, a few miniature breakdowns. The paint hasn't covered very well, to be honest. And I don't know whether I think it's... the paint has. The paint has covered well, but it's just the varnish is coming through. Yeah. And that's all it is. So the top cupboards look okay. And on camera from this far away, they actually look all right. But it just it's just but when not you get... in real life. When you get up close to it and you see like the actual details, like, it just looks not very good. It does look so much nicer white though. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks 100% like 100% nicer. We know it's gonna look nice when it's finished, which is the most important thing. Cause imagine if we had actually done it like white and then we were like, 
don't like that. So that is the most important thing. It's just the fact that it hasn't gone the way that we wanted it to. Yes. It's annoying. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. It's not the end that we wanted. We haven't done it before. And it's, it's not completely finished, but that happens sometimes. This vlog has taken three days and it's still not completely finished. <laughs> You'll see the stress <laughs> and panic. The anxiety. <laughs> that Ben's been through. <sighs> but yeah, we've decided that we want to do the whole furniture in our room white now. Yeah. That is like the main goal. Yeah, but we just need to make sure that none of the varnish comes through like it has on that. We'll just have to do everything in that. Apparently it's called bin. Bin undercoat. I'll tell you what, that can get in the bin. Yeah, it can get in the bin. Thank you for watching. Thank Please you. make sure that you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below, and also turn the notifications on so you can see every single time, time we upload. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.